need my driver. Valius. <laughs> Unless it's the me. Thank so first of all, my question to you is how did you enter into music and why? Okay, so as a child, I was always very enthused about music. I loved music. I started playing keyboard and drums as a child. So I think it started from there. Then in SHS, I had an inspiration for my school father. He started rapping in SHS. Mm -hmm. Then I realized I'm a good poet as well. I realized I could use my poetic skills to write music. And I must say, I, at that time, my voice wasn't very good. So I, I started working on it little by little. And with my writing skills, I combined them and I just started from there. Yeah. But why, why music? Well, music for me is therapy. Music is, it suits the soul. So when I write music, I want my audience to feel what I feel when I write the music. So most of the time, I take my inspiration from my favorite artist, Lucas Graham. His songs are very touchy. How do you combine that with your studies on campus? Well, I always say I am 50% a medical student and 50% a musician. When it comes to what is required as a medical student, I do them. But with my free time and all, I, I find beats around. I try to improve myself in the music as well. And I do my best, basically. Yeah, so when I have time, I go to the studio, I listen to more songs, I try to promote my music. But what is required of me as a medical student, I make sure I do it. That's the best. Okay. So, so tell us, when, when you go to the studio, how is it like from, from beginning to the end, getting the song, the inspiration, the words, well, everything? So for me, I'm a, I'm a passive writer. I, okay. I write with what you give me. So if I go to the studio, I take a beat from the producer, and right there and then, I can sit down and conjure something. Yes, so from there, I can sit at the studio with the producer. So usually I don't take more than a day to record a song. Right there, I write my song and record it. And then if there's any patch-ups to do later on, we do them. Then basically, yeah. So one day for a song? Yes, basically it's supposed to be one day for a song, yes. Thank you. So um, all the songs that you've released so far, which of them is your favorite, your personal favorite? Well... <laughs> I released all the songs, so all of them are my favorite. No, but I should, I should have one that I can do. If you ask music, Shen, so tell me okay. one of your favorites. If you are asking for my very favorite... Okay, so recently I released an EP. And two of the songs in the EP, I sang them from the heart. One is War With Myself. It's a pop song. And one is um, Iron Heart. It's an Afrobeat song. Iron Heart... It's, it's it's full of controversy. Is that your first Afrobeat? Was that your first? No, 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 no. It's 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 like my fourth of it. Okay. But war with myself. I'm I'm originally a pop artist. Afrobeat is just a side. Okay. So war with I'll say war with myself would be my favorite song. Okay. So when you say pop artist, what do you mean? And then explain to me because oh, the kind okay. of music you do. So, okay. Let me say this. I'm a pop rap artist originally. So I I don't rap, but I sing the rap. So I sing and I make a rhyme. I make the singing rhyme. So Sakodia will speak words and make them rhyme. Mm -hmm. I will sing the words and make them rhyme. So you won't hear me blabbering a lot or anything, but you hear me singing, but you hear them rhyming. Okay. Originally, that's what I'm supposed to be. But we are in Ghana, I'm a student, there's no sponsorship, I need to go far. Okay. Yes, so I had to incorporate the normal pop, the usual singing pop, like the Khalid type of pop. And Afrobeat as well, so that when my name gets far, then I can be comfortable to do what I want. But for now, I'm doing a bit of everything. So, are you going to continue with the Afrobeat? Oh, definitely, the definitely. I mean, I, I think people love the Afrobeat. Mm -hmm. So far, my most streamed song so far it has about three K streams on Spotify, and it's from the EP I released recently. The title is Machaji. I sang it with a, a level 200 PA student, Dora. Oh, okay. Her voice is outstanding. Mm -hmm. So that song has it's, it's it's my top song so far. And it's an Afrobeat song. So there's no way I can stop. So, so then that means I mean so we can we can do conclusion here that Afrobeat does work. So don't you think you, <laughs> yes. should, you should switch to Afro you wouldn't switch I, I Afrobeat. can't switch from Afrobeat because Afrobeat i I if I want to do Afrobeat I'll sit down and ask for a beat then I'll do the Afrobeat. But pop I can just be there watch a movie and to be like, nah, do a pop song. And I'll start writing a pop song. Pop is like, it's, it's, it comes from within me. I cannot stop pop. 
But Afro beats, I'm beginning to love Afro beats, though. But I can't, I can't stop pop as well. So all your are your songs um, random, as in you're just there and then the lyrics come and you start writing, or it's premeditated. You have to plan it before. So it it depends. Some songs are there. I write them per the emotion I have. Okay. Okay. So I wrote Ugly Butterfly about three years ago, and Ugly Butterfly came because I was angry. At who? That is a topic for another day. Oh, no, oh yeah. Yeah, so Ugly Butterfly came because I was angry because my past relationships hadn't been very good and I wanted to improve for myself. So that story, that very small thing, I expanded it into a song and Ugly Butterfly came up. So I did that with a rapper. And, yeah. Was a rapper a student on campus? No, he's, he's a student of Legon. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, so now let's talk about Love Your Biscuit, which is the one I think many people might have heard of. That's yes. the one I've heard, yes. I think, was played um, during the Nox dinner last mm-hmm. year. So tell mm-hmm. us about it. How did you come about it? I mean, what's the inspiration behind the song? Okay, so I released 65 last two years. 65, I've remastered it in a new song. But I released the last two years, and the coolest K, his, his actual name is Vastin. He's in level, I think, 200 currently, MBMB. He heard it and he was like, he wanted to do a song with me. So he looked for a beat. Then he brought it to me and he was like, I should write the chorus. I'm, I'm the singer, so I should write the chorus and the hook. And then he's going to take it from there. So I sat down and thought about how love is not working in this generation. About how... For you or for everyone? For everyone. <laughs> it's not just for me. I mean, it has not worked for me. So it has not worked for a lot of people. So, yeah. And I decided to write about how love has not worked for a lot of people. That's how Love Nibis Come came about. So I just wrote a hook, wrote a chorus, gave it to him, he did a rap. We went to the studio one day mm-hmm. and there, Love Nibis Come was born. Okay. So you released, that was two years ago? Yes, I think that was two years. two years ago. Was that last year? Last year. Well, I think it became popular somewhere last yeah, year. Yeah, I think that's, last that's year. Yeah, that should be last year. So out of all the music you've released, have you done a music video for any, or are you thinking hmm. of doing one? I have lyric videos for all my songs, okay. but... An actual music video, uh, yeah, I'm thinking of doing one, but currently I need sponsorship. So. Does it a cost to do it? Yes, it's, it's, yeah. it's really costly. Love Nibis Cam, though, I did a teaser video for it, a beep photographic cover that one, and okay. did a teaser video. and Yeah, it, it went far, it went far, mm-hmm. but to do an actual music video, I, I think I still need some time. Mm-hmm. I need some time, yeah. So, so what goes into making a music video? Oh yeah, for making a music video, you need a planner, you need a videographer, you need an editor, you need a director. It's it's a whole lot. And if you want to do something, you have, you just have to do it right. I can't just stand up and use an iPhone or something you like can, that. Can, but, I mean, the the current iPhones we have, thirteen, it has cinematic mode. And that's well, the job. It, it, it can, I'm not saying it will be perfect, but. If you get somebody that's good with it, exactly. but you want you want to start professional as in your first video. Well, be yes. Any with that, I would need a director. Okay. I would need people on the video, and myself, I'm camera shy, so <laughs> it's it's a whole. I need training mm. myself, so I, I don't think I'm ready yet. Okay. But possibly within this year, yeah, yes, we should expect something. Okay. So, so once you're done with school, you graduate, become uh, a medical officer. Would you still be doing this? Oh yeah, sure. So how do you combine it? It will be like, stressful. So here's my plan. I started to do music in school because I know this is where I'll get a lot of people to reach mm-hmm. out to. So my plan is that by the time I leave medical school, I would have that popularity. Okay. That way, even when I get out, I can say, oh no, I will use the degree again and I'll continue my music. Okay. If so, not, I can still fend off. I mean, I can do the music once in a while and still be my medical officer. Mm-hmm. It's, it works. So, so if you get sponsorship now while I was in school, a record label decides to sign you full time. Would, would you still continue with the school? As in, to become a full time artist, and, and would you stop? Well, I mean, level four hundred now. I'd rather finish. Before. Yes, I mean, they they will understand. I mean, level four hundred. I've been in school for four years. I can't. I can't just abandon the degree. Yes. Okay. So, so now let's talk about your songs and where they are and how people can access it. What which platforms? Oh, okay. So my songs are literally everywhere. Uh, Spotify, Apple Music, Audio Mac, Boomplay, uh, Deezer, YouTube, anywhere you want. Even TikTok, right? You get it. So it's just everywhere. Search, yeah. Yes, just search. So how, how, you can tell them how to... Okay, so just search T-H-I-M-M-Y 
on all streaming platforms and you're going to find my music there. All the yes. songs, everything. Everything. everything yes. Thank you so much. You you're welcome. Yes. So that was our team in the music check on campus combining music and medical education at the same time. I don't know how he does it, but he seems to be doing a good job of it. So watching Good Morning, you are so good. In the morning by seven, if you want some juice, baby, I'll be lemon. Mm. Love no be scam, I just sing. Wait then, 